What's up you guys and welcome back to another sketchbook tour. I've had the sketchbook since summer 2019 and I finished it by the end of January 2020. So it took me quite a while to complete it, but I'm finally able to share it with you guys, so I'm super super excited. And this sketchbook is a little bit bigger than my previous one, it's an A4 plus format, so you have quite a lot of space to work with. Alright, let's get into it. So once we open the sketchbook up, we have some random stickers over here and one drawing that I just never finished. So here's the first sketchbook spread that I completed. Over here I have some random sketches of girls and also here a little bit more completed ones. I really like this drawing. And here is the illustration that I really liked at the beginning and I still like it, but I just can't get myself to finish it. Maybe one day I will just find some motivation to do it. And here I covered some sketches for this drawing with just a random piece of paper. And this prevents the graphite from those sketches to smear around on my illustration. So that's why I just like to do it to keep my sketchbook pretty clean. Here I have some sketches that I intended to turn into illustrations and I actually did with this one. You can see the illustration here on the screen. And this one I might turn into an illustration sometime in the future. Here I have a pretty blank space and also some sketches from my satisfying videos and also from TikTok. These are super fun to make and I love making those satisfying videos. Here is a page with some outfit inspiration for fall time. I also recorded a YouTube video with me creating these so you can check it out. I really like those outfits, but I could definitely tell that the proportions on those girls are not that correct. And if I were to do it again, I would definitely do it differently. Okay, next page. This one is also quite random. I did some swatches of some new art supplies over here and yeah, just some sketches. Here I remember that I did this drawing, especially the pose off of some reference picture and I really liked how this one turned out, but since I wasn't really paying attention to the coloring that much and I didn't put that much time and effort in it, I don't consider it to be a finished illustration, it's just a colored sketch in my opinion, but it still looks very cool. And this little sketch right here I also turned into an actual illustration, which you can see right here. I really like it, but I would definitely change a couple of things in it if I were to draw it right now. This page must be one of my favorites. I did this for my YouTube video where I was practicing drawing guys and honestly I'm really proud of how this turned out. I think that those portraits are looking very very cool. So this page is definitely one of my favorites. Here we have some random unfinished sketches. And here is the illustration that I actually really wanted to finish. And then I realized that I really don't like how her face turned out. The eyes are too far apart and I think it just ruins the drawing. I'm also not a fan of the jacket coloring, so I just left it like this. And here also again my trick with just a random piece of paper, just to prevent this drawing from getting dirty. Here are my experiments with drawing with fine liners. It was kind of cool to try it out, but I'm not a fan of the style that those drawings are done in. It's definitely not my thing, but it was cool to experiment with it, I guess. Here I have another sketchbook spread. I really like the fact that it's monochromatic done only in blues. That really gives the sketchbook spread such a cool vibe. And well, I also plan to turn this sketch into an actual illustration and that didn't happen yet, but maybe sometime in the future I can still go back to it and, you know, finish it up or just transfer it onto another piece of paper. We'll see about that. Next on another spread, definitely not my favorite. Here I just have some random sketches. This was supposed to be a finished illustration, but I stopped in the middle of the process because something just didn't feel right about it. So I abandoned this drawing. 
Next another spread, here I try to draw it with only ballpoint pen and I kind of like how this turned out but I would definitely like to add a little bit more of shading and a little bit more depth into this drawing but since it's only a sketch I didn't put that much time into it. Next off, a very unfinished sketchbook spread, probably due to the marker bleedings. I didn't bother to do that much with those pages, if I'm being honest. Here I have some outfits. I really like how those two girls turned out. I just wish I finished this one up. Next off, we have some random sketches, and I really like how this one turned out. Next off, we have some portraits. I actually really like both of these. They were really chill to do. Next up we have one of my favorite drawings lately. It's those kind of shopping girls, how I like to call them. And I just like the whole vibe of this illustration. I like the shading. The proportions could be a little bit better, but I still had so much fun creating this drawing and I'm definitely super proud of it. Next up we have a drawing of Jeffree Star. I recorded the full process for my YouTube video so you can guys check it out if you're interested. Next I drew some simple outfits just to warm up and brainstorm some of the ideas and I kind of like how this looks. Next we have a spread that I wish had a little bit more of color but I just left it like that. This is actually the concept for an illustration that I really, really want to do. And I already transferred the sketch onto marker paper, so I might be doing that in the near future. This drawing you could see on my Instagram. I also recorded a quick process video from where I was drawing it, so you can guys check it out. Here is an illustration that I really, really need to finish. I don't know why I stopped in the middle of the process, probably I had some other things to do, but I really love the color scheme, their poses, and in general, I really like how this is turning out, so I really, really need to finish it. Next we have some simple portraits, then a spread full of random sketches, and here is another illustration that I'm super proud of. This was actually in my Saturday's free marker video. I honestly love how this one turned out. It was super much fun to make it and it's definitely one of my favorite drawings in this sketchbook. And also here I did some fun portraits that I actually never finished but I think they still look really interesting. Here we have another very interesting spread that I actually really enjoyed making. I thought that I'm gonna practice a little bit looking at some ancient sculptures because I think that they look so myesthetic and they are just mesmerizing. So I just felt like practicing the anatomy a little bit. So I just drew a couple of those sculptures and well, they actually look like a real human body, which is amazing. So yeah, I'm very proud over these sketches honestly. And here we have a full spread that I actually made for a YouTube video and I still have the files with the recordings because I intended to make a video about same face syndrome so that's why I drew a couple of different faces but I don't know why I didn't post it. Let me know if you would still like to see that. Maybe I will actually get myself to edit this video and post it for you guys but you need to let me know if you would be even interested in it. Here we have a guy from the color of the year video. I really enjoyed making this drawing and I think it looks really cool. And it was another time that I really felt like actually drawing a guy. So I was really happy that I could practice that a little bit. And I think it turned out really great. Here we have a very random spread, but I decided to draw another sculpture and I really like how this one turned out. I actually really enjoy making those pencil sketches. It's so relaxing, so I definitely need to do that more often. Here we have some very fun drawings. Here is a drawing of Addison Ray from TikTok. I really like this drawing, but I know that her eyes are a little bit too small, which ruins the whole drawing, but 
But well, I still had a lot of fun doing it, so I'm just gonna pay more attention to that in the future. And here on top we have a sketch from my satisfying video from TikTok. It actually went viral, so I'm super happy about it, but honestly, I really love how this sketch turned out and the whole hairstyle, colors, it looks just simple but super cool in my opinion. And here we have another spread. This pencil sketch was done off of some reference pictures that I found on Pinterest. And this drawing I actually did quite recently. And honestly, I really like how this one turned out. It's so simple, but yet it has a cool vibe to it. Here we have another spread with some outfit sketches and some swatches of Ohuhu Skin Tone marker pack. So. I was really happy to test it out and I think that they managed to come up with some pretty decent skin colors. Moving on, here I was trying to draw this close-up face picture without a sketch, only with colored pencils and like you can see I didn't finish it up because I just didn't like how it looks. I'm quite happy with the nose shading but the rest is just... Hmm. Could have been better i would say and this sketch i still want to color so i'm gonna probably post it on my tiktok so you guys can go and follow me there this spread is also one of the coolest i would say here i tried something totally new because i drew this girl only with colored pencil and with this kind of hatching technique and i love how this one turned out and i'm so happy that i experimented a little bit because i'm really in love with this kind of effect and i really need to practice that more often and besides some other sketches here i also have this cute little portrait that you could see on my instagram i'm really happy with it it was really fun to do and here we have the illustrations that I did when there were fires in Australia and it was just so painful for everyone to see. So I just wanted to show a little bit of support and I drew this girl holding a koala and I honestly like how this one turned out but, but it was just so painful to see all of this happening on our eyes. Here those two spreads are a little bit empty but I just didn't feel like finishing them so I thought that I'm not gonna push myself to do it and I left it as it is. And here we have another very fun in my opinion illustration that I did quite recently. I really enjoyed drawing this and I think it turned out pretty awesome. And this drawing you could also see on my Instagram, I posted it a while ago. And this spread is also quite interesting. This was supposed to be a finished illustration. Like you can tell, the face is quite done, but I just didn't feel like finishing it. I don't know, something didn't feel right about it, so I just left it as it is. And here I have this very fun sketch that I made, and I actually also plan to turn it into an actual illustration. So that might definitely happen sometime in the future. And this is actually the very last spread of the sketchbook and all of those sketches were done in one of my recent YouTube videos where I was drawing all of your guys' suggestions from Instagram where you were telling me what exactly should I draw and I think that those turned out to be really cool and I had so much fun doing it so I might be doing similar videos in the future and that is basically the end of my sketchbook that is all that I managed to create during let's say half a year it might seem that it's not that much but I also did some other illustrations on just separate pieces of paper or for YouTube videos so so well that would be all for my sketchbook tour I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and I've already started a new sketchbook this time a little bit smaller so I will probably complete it a little bit faster so well thank you guys so so much for watching don't forget to leave thumbs up under this video if you enjoyed it and once more thank you so so much for watching I love you all and I can't wait to see you in my next videos Take care. Bye. I'm just going with the gut. Never had a doubt. Felt like this is just a must. Put me in perspective. I'm the deepest in the cut. Everybody tuning in. But this is just for us now.